Hey, take that hat off. Let's go. Mr. Costello is a good guy. If you're doing all the things you're supposed to do, you're supposed to be in good grades and stuff like that. But if not, I don't think he shows much mercy. I'm going to meet with Chad. I had taken his hat from him yesterday. When I got here this morning, it was gone. So I knew he had gotten it back somehow. So I went down to our IT department to check out surveillance cameras. Can you pull up the, uh, the camera for me, please? Of course. Oh, there he is. Wait, one more. Oh, wait a minute. Unbelievable. There's two clips on the surveillance camera. The first one's where he comes in and checks to see if anybody's there. And the second one's where he comes in, gets his hat, and gets out of my office. We caught him red-handed. <laughs> Chad, you know why you're down here? No clue. It could have been for skipping a class. Moving the camera, uh, mouthing off to a teacher, anything. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you know we have several cameras in this school. In the hallways and stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's not the only place. Oh. Come here. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Oh man. You know, I got to be honest, watching this gets me pretty upset. I don't know what to say to that. I'm sorry. OK, well, that's a good start. Have a seat. It's not like the hat was on the doorknob. He had to go in my office, behind my desk, and reach into the cabinet to get his hat. That, to me, he went all the way. I hate to think that I got to start locking my door when I'm not in this office. Well, I kind of don't feel comfortable knowing that my items are left out to be grabbed that easy. That kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Well, I know there's plenty of kids in the school that can't be trusted that wouldn't just come in, grab their item. They'd come in, grab their hat, the other hat, the other hat, whatever else they want, even your stuff. I know, and that's a pretty sad state of affairs, I think. Yeah, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Up until this moment, Chad, I didn't worry about it. I'd appreciate if my items were locked up or something. I think it's kind of ironic that you feel that this office isn't safe because you came in and took your hat. I mean, that's a little bit ironic, I think. Well, I need you here Saturday morning at 8 o'clock for Saturday detention. All right. All right, thanks very much, Chad. Thank you. There is no doubt in my mind that Chad won't try this kind of thing again. <laughs>